In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the OBS virtual camera picture. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. As you can see on the top left corner of my screen, I am currently using the virtual camera picture from OBS on Discord. Changing this is simple, and all that you have to do is replace a specific PNG file in the OBS installation folder. So this is going to work for any application that requires camera input and you want to have the OBS virtual camera picture set in that specific app. So all that you have to do is first go over to where OBS is installed. The best way to figure this out is to open Task Manager and inside of Task Manager, find OBS and right click it. So you will be able to search here for OBS, right click the app and then go or open file location. Now, when you go over to where OBS is installed, you will be able to go back to this folder, OBS-Studio, and then you have to go to Data, OBS Plugins, and then go all the way down until you find this one, WAN-DSHOW. In here, you can actually find the original placeholder image. So as you can see, it is a 1920 by 1080 image. And all that you have to do now is replace it with any other image that you want to use. The most important thing is that one, the image that you use also has to be a PNG file. The second thing is that it has to have the same resolution. So 1920 by 1080. And third, it cannot have any transparency. So this is the one that I made. I simply changed the colors of the background from blue to pink. Now, what I recommend is that you re rename the original placeholder image to something like placeholder old, just in case you want to have a backup, but this shouldn't give you any trouble if you just want to delete it altogether. Now, get your new placeholder that you want to use, and name it as placeholder.png. With this done, you can go ahead and test it out. However, what I recommend is that you restart your computer. You will notice that Discord did not immediately change, but after you restart your computer and you restart the virtual camera, it is going to be working. Now, because of the way that I'm recording this video, I won't be able to show you this full process done, but all you have to do now is restart your computer like I mentioned. I hope I was able to help you on how to change OBS virtual camera picture. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.